Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is gonna be the five month update for Project 10 Uses, which is also known as Loves Me, Loves Me Not. This is a project I'm doing in collaboration with my friend Just Jenna, Lara, Christelle, Callie, Lindsay, Everybody will be linked down below. There's other people too. I know I'm forgetting some, I always do. I will try to remember to link everybody down below that I know of, because I'm always forgetting somebody. I feel bad. The whole point of this project is to pick 10 items, use them 10 times. When you do that, they roll out and you could put in some new products into this project. There's always 10 going at all times. I have hit my 10 use goal on two items for this update, which is good but not great. This update kind of snuck up on me. Like before I knew it, I was like, oh, ooh, oh, oopsie, whoopsie, I didn't do it. That happens. The first item that I hit the 10 use mark on is a lip liner that I just rolled in last month. I think that says a lot about how perfect this lip liner was for me at this time. It is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry. It looks like this. It worked really well with the lipstick in the experiment, the Trustique Matte Crayon. So I would often apply this first and then apply that lip crayon on top of it. Um, for the most part, I did just use this as a lip liner and I didn't fill in my lips when I used it. So there's probably still a ton of product left. Yep. But I did use it 10 times and I really enjoyed it very much. It may end up in a project pan before you know it because it seems like the kind of thing I could possibly finish, maybe. I don't know. The other item I hit the 10 use mark on has been in the project a little bit longer, not since the very beginning, but it is this Too Faced Melted Long Wear Lipstick in Fig. I am wearing it right now for the 10th time. I kind of saved it for this update. It's a lovely product. Although the formula of this is very different from the Trustique, matte lip crayon that I have in the experiment. The overall look is very similar, so odds are I'm gonna pull for that one over this one right now, as long as that Trustique lip crayon is still going. But I'm really glad I got a chance to pull this back out and use it 10 times because I've had it for a while and like a lot of lip products, it's just been kind of sitting in storage waiting to get used, so I'm really glad I used it 10 times. And I like it. Okay, let's do a quick run through of the eight products that were in the project last month that I didn't hit the 10 use goal on. First of all, I have my two nail polishes. We are getting there. Um, not necessarily with this one. I'm still at the five use mark, which I have a hunch is where I was at last month. I don't remember using this at all in the last month. So this one on the other hand, I have used, I believe I've used it twice. So I am up to eight uses. I have two more uses left before I roll this out. Um, boy, it's really hard to hit the 10 use mark on nail polishes. I am wearing it now. I need to do my nails again. I brought back stamping. Not that I brought it back. People have been stamping. But I had gotten into nail polish stamping about two years ago. Found out it was harder than I thought it would be. Got frustrated, took a break from it, bought a bunch of new stamping equipment that was a little bit better quality based on some stampers recommendations. Got into it again and then life got busy and I put it away again. But I started stamping again. This is not the best job ever, but it has definitely inspired me. The plate I used um, pretty much covered the entire green nail polish. It's just kind of peeking through. But yeah, it was really fun and I think I'm gonna stamp I don't know, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night, and use that green polish again. I like the contrast of the green polish with the white uh, stamping polish. So uh, I'm gonna have fun with that, and I'm quite confident I will be rolling that one out at next month's update. A couple other items that have been in this project since the very beginning are the Too Faced Liquid Lipstick in Queen Bee. It's a lovely color, just not really reaching for it. I am still at the five use mark for this. I'm gonna set a goal to roll this out by next month. All I have to do is use it five times. So if you see me wearing this lipstick, you'll know. I am aiming to move this out of this project by next month. I want all of the original 10 items out of this project by next month, so that is my goal. 
except for maybe that nail teeny polish. All right, also this Nat Robbins eyeliner. I did use this one more time, so I'm up to two uses, which we're gonna use it eight more times and roll it out because it's gotta go. I used this Estee Lauder lip liner in the shade Apple Cordial three times. It's very pigmented. It's very kind of bold. It's bold for me. It's just a little bit more red than the berry one, but I have been using it as a lip liner since I hit the 10 use mark on the other one. I might be able to use it 10 times by next month's update. This Revlon gel eyeliner in indigo was looking pretty dried up. I ended up using eye drops. The saline ones that have the glycerin in them and I poured some in and used it and then I poured some more in and used it again. I didn't like mush it all together or mix it back up, but I am getting enough product up on a brush to use it as a liner again. I am wearing it actually today. I don't know if you can see it at all. I line my lashes kind of thinly, but I am using this and I've used this a total of three times as well. The last two products in this project come from this little J-Cat palette. I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to use this, whatever like Vaseline-y um, product the glitter is suspended in can upset my eye makeup underneath it if I'm not careful. I'm trying to use this one and this one 10 times and I've used each of them once. I'm wearing this one today on top of some ColourPop Super Shock shadows and it seemed to, um, the two products seem to work well together. So I think I'm gonna do this look a few more times because I owe you guys a go for the goal update. I haven't done that in like two months. So I'm gonna try and get this look a few more times and maybe hit a goal and go for the goal. Anyways, I've used those two shadows one time each. I am rolling two new products into this project this month, and they are both lip liners. No, it's a worm. It's a worm. Your poor nose. Both of the items that I am rolling in this month are lip liners. It seems to be the product that I'm having the most luck with in this project, and I love that I'm able to explore my lip liner stash. I mean, I have a fairly significant amount of lip liners and I don't use them nearly enough. So it's been really fun. These are both kind of not my typical go-to colors. You are so silly. Neither one of these shades are typical Paula colors. So I'm reaching out of my comfort zone. I believe one of these was handed down to me from a friend. And the other one I received in like a subscription bag, probably Ipsy. The first one I have is an Estee Lauder lip pencil in the shade Mahogany. That is it right there. Not a typical Paula color. And the second one is from Scone Lux Doubler Eye and Lip Pencil. I might use it as an eye pencil just to try it out, but my intentions are to probably use it as a lip pencil and it is in the shade wine and that is it right there all right guys that is it for this update another crazy update that took twice as long as it should have thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Bye. Bye. although it's a very different formula the overall look that i get from this product Ron's missed you guys. <laughs> Have you missed saying hi to everybody? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of still cold. All right, you want to go back to the couch? Uh, I feel I feel better like this. It's kind of hard for me to film like this. <laughs> You're like you can do it, mom. Make it work. So I will. He's a dog and I'm a dog.